Hi, so I decided to play some Mana Lords. Um, I'm doing this mainly as a, uh, just practice for recording. But I do want to, you know, play this game through and give myself a reason to continue playing this beautiful game. Um, looks like we spawned in the town of, I don't know how to pronounce that, Eichenhal. Um, and, uh, we're gonna try to make use of the, uh, lucky RNG we got. Um, what I did notice is that, um, you can spawn into different locations. My previous game I played, I was in Nusloch. I don't know how to pronounce any of these. Please forgive me, any German viewers. Um, and, uh, the deposits seem to be also randomized. Um, when I previously played, this was, uh, Nuss This location had, uh... Wild animals and the berry bush as the rich deposit. Anyways, I wanted to try to play this. Um, I did do a play playthrough before, um, just to get the feel for the game, and I want to do something really fun here. All right, so let's see. We have a lot of resources stuck over here. I don't know if I like that. Um, what I noticed is that uh, it's not that close, so I think it might be, we might be fine. We could just leave this untouched. Um, I guess it will help that everything's together. Um, we should start a logging camp over here. So let's build one like so. Right on the forest edge. And uh, I guess right nearby we're gonna have our woodcutters, woodcutters lodge. Um, I kind of want to get it closer to the forest. So let's do this. And now we got nice and close to the trees. And later on, we can put a forester's hut right here just to replenish the trees. Put this on high priority and say goodbye to this message. All right, let's play. So it looks like we got a rich animal deposit and a clay deposit. That's also really nice. Uh, we could use that as our main export for a bit before it runs out. It is a shame that things run out in this game, but uh, you can always claim other lands. So that's definitely going to be something I want to be trying to do. Um, we want to find a good location to farm as well. So let's take a look at the overlay. Oh. This is not ideal. We have a location here. Um. Uh, it looks like this might be a decent area as well, but we would have to clear out the forest for that, and I don't really want to do that. Um, barley, we just cannot grow here. Um, looks like we're gonna have to do a uh, livestock village, so we're gonna be focusing primarily on uh, making money off of trade and trying to feed ourselves. I guess. Kind of sucks. All right, let's uh in the meantime let's queue up. A hunting build, hunting uh, outpost. If you put it too close, uh, what will happen is that these guys will move to a different location on the map, which is pretty handy if you don't like the lo their uh, location. And then we could also we don't need to place this now. Um, it's not that great, anyways.
softening. Soon, and soon. All right, let's build our hunting camp on a better location now. It is further away, which kind of sucks, but uh, we could have... We'll, we'll figure it out. I'm not really too upset about far distances. What I am upset about is this. Oh, a nice curvy road. There we go. Nice and pretty. Someone will eventually work on that. Let's put some people on the logging camp. Uh, we're gonna put in two for now. We're not gonna continue having two. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit difficult, so what we're gonna try to do is prioritize having these vegetable plots and uh, apple plots instead of the uh, planting and growing. Uh, I do wanna eventually... What was it? The barley. I guess this is the only good spot here. Let's have them there. Um, so... Unless it's like somewhere in the trees that I don't, I'm not aware of. Yeah, it looks like this is like the only good spot. So I do want to have a uh, a barley, so that I could uh, level up and get the uh, taverns and stuff. That would be in paramount to our uh, burgish plots, uh, leveling it up and stuff. All right, this should be almost done. Let's add that extension. Uh, we are starting to look pretty bad on our food. Um, that means we need to prioritize this. Oh, we already have people on there. Let's do 15 as a limit. And uh, we could have one person on there. Um, could also do a berry bush. Harvester. We're going to need them for dyes anyways. Put that on a lower priority, though. There we go. We're also gonna need a granary. Um, what? Our food's gonna be primarily within the village itself, so I'm probably gonna want to have the granary within. If I remember where it was. There we go. Um. Let's say if we have the church here, then we could have the granary here. And that's also a very valid thing to remind me of. I want to place the church now, so I have like a design around it. We need more wood? And we need planks as well. That's another thing. <laughs> we need more people! Oh my goodness. Um, let's get more houses built. We could put vegetables here. We do need a market area. I do like this spot right here. So we could probably just leave this gap here. And then have houses here. As a matter of fact, let's put some houses here. How big can we go? don't want to wrap too much so I could have houses facing this way. I want to try to make the most natural looking village if I can.
I wish you could click and drag these. Let's place our market down. We do also need a well. Let's put that there. And the church will eventually be placed down. We also need... A saw pit. It looks like our approval is going up. We have no more homeless people, which is nice to see. You look at that. Looks like we got some cabbages and maybe carrots. We got the granary done, so I'm gonna put one person on there so we don't lose our food to uh, the rain. And we're gonna need someone on the uh, woodcutter's lodge, but. We also need someone building right now, so I'm going to leave that open. So I did experiment with the sizes of these uh, vegetable plots, and I discovered that like at a certain size, they're just way too big that it's um, no longer sustainable. So I want to have something that's not too big, but not too small, so that it's just enough for the uh, the family of the two families to do something. Oh, we did need a market area, I forgot. I don't think these are big enough for vegetable plots, I'm gonna leave them um, as it is. Uh, I'll replace them with chickens or goats later. This one should be good for uh, vegetables though. We wanna have the vegetables on the bigger, larger areas so that it makes more sense. Um, since the larger it is, the more vegetables we get. Look at that detail. Looks like uh, currently one person is not enough to keep up with this, but we can't really do much right now. He's transporting me. He is a bit far. Um, we might want to do something about that. What we could do, right, is we could have a um, apple orchard here, and then um, have like a granary right here. And then, that way we don't have the, uh, the people traveling too far. I got development point, we're gonna spend that on apples. Since we need food. Although, beekeeping would be pretty nice. I am kinda curious, um, I wanna take a look actually, uh... Alright, so I just took a look. Um, I don't think we want honey. We want apples. And we can always go for the, uh, the, uh, flax. I believe. Um, let's take a look. At the f not flax, rye. Because rye actually lets us plant stuff. And we need food, eventually. Am I talking over a British accent? Oh no. Not again. How are we looking on the soft bit? Do we wanna... What are we, what are we missing right now? What are we building? Um... What's this? Oh... This is... This is... A dilemma. Alright. What we're gonna do... Take one off the logging camp. Put one on the saw pit. Um... Uh, can't really do much. Uh... How are we looking on... Fuel? We're decently set right now we do need more people we just need more people um we could start building a uh storage house we're gonna need a pretty decent size we could put it near the uh where we're gonna put the trader we're gonna put the trader right there as a matter of fact why not just do it now
The strong militias paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons have just arrived, and you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we need more weapons to equip all of the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them from other lands. Alright, let's get that militia formed. Uh... I guess we need more people. That's fine. I'm not surprised. Um, we're gonna need to eventually start unlocking these. That will help a lot. But for now, we uh, are poor. And we need more humans. The moment we got humans, we can start um, mining and uh, build a church and whatnot. There's a lot of things we could do. We do want an army, though. Oh! Before I forget, where's a good spot for a banner? Maybe, like, up here. So, like, we want to have our manor over here. Have a little castle. Not really a castle. More like a fort. But, that's just looking ahead. A little bit too far ahead. I'm surprised that I haven't been getting any uh, people moving in yet. Do we not have enough houses? Let's start building more then. We're looking pretty bad on food. What? What are you doing? Um, we're gonna need to have people in here. Ah, but we need construction. Ay, ay, ay. Um, logging, we don't need you. Um, you're on construction duty. Forester, we don't need. Woodcutter, we also need. I need more people! Sighted. Lovely. We do have supplies here. Oh. We have some firewood. But that's... Yeah, that doesn't really count. Where are the people? While we wait for people, um, I'm sure this would be great reputation boost right here. Let's build a church somewhere. Maybe like right here. I could. I think... Here. Alright. Those not food. Oh, we're low on fuel. Okay. It's panicking for no reason. Those are bandits that stole them too. That's so annoying. I don't really have. Wait a minute. Where are the bandits? we take him? No. We can't. Uh, where is our house? There it is. My house. My village. Alright. That should be good for us. He didn't give us anything. Building the church. 
like that sound. Let's put you on trading. Um, we could sell. Stop stealing my carrots! Let's get this done first. We're gonna place someone on the tannery for now. And then we're gonna convert our hide into uh, leather. And that should give us some good money. Do we have anyone on the forcer's hut? Yes, we do. I'm gonna need more. But I don't wanna assign anyone right now. Not a bandit cap. Not even close, never mind. Oh wow, we could expand belt we could expand either way and get a lot of iron. <laughs> Alright, how we do how are we looking here? Not good. Message. Oh boy. Um, that's not good. We have a year and we don't have anything. Uh, we're gonna need to focus on getting some stone. And then uh, make a manor. Hey, yay, yay. We have so many things to do. Also need to build a stable. Ay ay ay.
Everybody's looking good right now. I'm just gonna do something really risky. Take him off. Um, try to get this taken care of. Come on, we need to get that manor up quickly as possible. Okay, we got the clothing stall. Um, we can't do the cobbler yet. Can we? No, we. Yeah. We need to upgrade it. We should be able to upgrade now, can't we? Okay, there we go. Um, I was just looking. We're almost done with this. We could have some apples growing once we're done with that. Food is looking decent right now, so we're not going to worry about it. We wasted our money. Alright. Apples. How are we looking on the stone? Nothing. Alright, we got some level 2 burgage plots going. Finally. Um, what else do we need? Looks like I just got really lucky with the uh, timing there. Let's see if we can upgrade any of, the, any of these. Not yet. Okay. So I, I guess I got really lucky once they had the stall going. Which was like the split second that I clicked on it. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna want, um, alright, so now that we have a level 2, right, um, I think we could do the manor. I need more level 2 burgages, looks like. So eventually, once we get, um, our tannery going a little bit faster, we should have our clothing stall going. Um, a little bit more consistently. And, uh, what's the closest house I can upgrade? Yeah, I'm just gonna upgrade anything as soon as I can. If I'm gonna upgrade that one, that should have been better. I. We're lacking in wood right now. Alright, we leveled up. Let's do rye cultivation, thankfully. Um, as well as we can finally build our manor. Um, which is right here. We need five logs. Okay. Just need to wait. We're not doing too hot in terms of uh, tree planting. I don't know why. You'd think that they would. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Um, we do need money. Um, I think it'll be best if we take care of the... Ban the bandits. And then, um... We do want to start leaning some claim and whatnot. Our influence is pretty bad right now. It's non-existent. Alright, we got enough. Let's build our manor. Probably like right here. Let's, you know what? I'm gonna make it go a little bit out, you know? There we go. And manor is built. Finally. Um, we don't need to do a castle planner yet. That's gonna be on the highest priority. We're gonna fast forward. The raiders are gonna come here by the end of the next year, so we wanna be prepared for that. In the meantime, let's start planning our next orchard. Buggy with the things, but it's okay, I'm not complaining. Eventually we're gonna have a crazy amount of apples. That's what we want. 
once we get that uh, mana, we're gonna get some taxes. We could get our mercenaries. Um, how are we looking for army, by the way? Not bad. Um, what we could do here is that. And upgrade these as well. And let's get some uh, armor and weapon production going. If we're gonna do that, then we're also gonna want someone on the mining. Eventually. Also need to upgrade the storehouse. So many things to do. Aye, aye, aye. How's our manor? Not done yet. It's gonna be a hot minute, looks like. Yes. All right. Taxes now. Oops. No, no, no. That's too much. Too much. Too much. Too much, too much taxes. You're gonna be upset. Stop it! There we go. Looks like we don't have enough money for a mercenary company. That's that's all right. All right, so we got raiders. Um, huge skip I know. Oh, uh, there wasn't much going on. Uh, but we got raiders. It looked pretty poor. That's great. I love poor people. Um, that sounds really weird. We're gonna probably see an attack very soon. So what we want to do is um, gather up my army. It's gonna be pretty evenly matched now that I think about it. Um, do I? Can I afford to hire one more per chance? No. And we can't really upgrade anything. It is what it is. Um, they're not gonna be here for another hot minute. We should probably gather them though. All right, here we go. Rally up, folks. It's time for war. For our first little battle. All right. Seriously, they haven't hit, taken a single load. Come on, kill them. Uh, okay, pull back. Let's try to loop around and try to get some shots on their backs, maybe? It's not looking good for us. These archers doing nothing at all. Oh my gosh, I wish I didn't do this. Yeah, not a single one has been taken down by an archer. Seriously? They can down they take him down my retinue. Oh, we killed one. Another one. 
Wow, it's working somehow. You want to shoot faster? Yeah, this is looking like a defeat. Seriously? Oh my god, we actually- no, we still didn't win. We're not winning yet. No, we won! We won! We won! At what cost? Oh my gosh. Alright. We won. Somehow. Just barely. Ah, uh, we're gonna need grave. Um... Your word. I don't know how we won that, I'm gonna be honest with you. We lost our complete retinue, by the way. Every single one of our retinue is dead. Alright, I think this is a good spot to uh, end this recording. Um, be sure to subscribe for part 2. Bye!